Hello everybody, this is Wendy with Wendy's Paper Junk, and I have a flip through! Okay, <laughs> if you watched my previous video on this, I said I was going to leave it naked, or kind of plain, and I kind of tried, and it did not work out that way. I just loved it too much, and I was just having so much fun with it. So, this is a um, junk journal that I kept the book cover intact okay so the book cover is carved I'm assuming it's leather I'm not sure what material but it's book trails on the high road to adventure there's a knight on a horse I mean it's just awesome graphics carving etching whatever you want to talk about uh, the spine is intact and reinforced and then there's the back here is a bottom view a side view and a top view. There are three signatures in here. And it is seven by nine and a half. Might as well say nine and a half. There are, I even wrote it down so I can remember, um, 178 pages counting front and back. So it's pretty good. Um, now, I reinforced the spine with not only fabric, but there are there's book binding tape and also there's a chipboard that is bracing the hidden spine. Okay, so um, I tried to um, do a homage to the book and I put some book pages from this book in here. Um, I couldn't save the the title page, so what I did was I made a little flip here. So you can sign your name, but it has it shows the copyright. So it was 1928. It's a 1928 book, and um, there is the little book plate. Here is also the uh, company. Just you know, just a little journal card. Now, another thing I did is I had these vintage Rook playing cards, and what I did was um, I oops. I just put three in uh, to denote where the signatures start. So this is the first signature, this is the second, and this is the third. So what I did was I put a little uh, a hanging bullpen with a charm on it. This one says dream and kind of made them as little uh, tuck spots. So you can go to whatever chapter. Okay, so there's a lot of nice papers, a variety of papers to journal, to art, to, you know, the spiel, to do whatever you want, and, um, fun belly band, I'm not going to take everything out, but this is Holly Hobby, Hobby Holly, Holly, <laughs> and then there is a vintage song, ch uh, chant, whatever you want to call it, and I put that there, so, there is, like I said, areas to throughout. I hope somebody's imagination goes wild. I have some fun coloring pages that are perforated that you can tear out if you need to. Uh, different types of book pages. Okay, so this is like a thick blank book page from a vintage book that I put in here because just the texture is different. You have graph paper, just a little um, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do have some fun. This is Good Fortune. This one is Too Dangerous. So those were from the book. I thought the graphics were great. And, you know, so many areas that you guys can just have fun with, you know. And I left the plain, you know, lined paper alone. So you have plenty of writing space. Fun places to color, to doodle, to glue. You have a whole bunch of more writing space. You have coffee dyed paper. These are the book pages from the book. Um, this is just paper clipped in um, coffee dyed ledger page with a tag. And you have this gold paper clip with a vintage Tommy Hilfiger button. Is that not funny? Um, you have this big playing card back there. 
more graph paper. This is from the Pirates of Penzance. I just, you know, liked it. So, and it had the little charm chant there. So, you know, do what you will with it. I'm like, <laughs> this was just a fun little card on the music sheet with a, a paper doily. And uh, if I ever, I would leave you. We got some more of this paper. And love that. Uh, this is the second uh, signature. Um, I did not put it on the very first page because I didn't want to cover up the coloring in case, you know, when you want to color. So it's on the second page. And then you have a, a fun vellum picture. This goes right there. And, oh, your book page. Then you have some more goodies. So, and I put some rub-ons, and then this this one has a pocket on the card itself, and it's blank on the back, so that goes there. You have a little spot there. I just love, it's just so fun and calming. You have a little key, a cross key charm dangling from the very center signature. Uh, let's see. This, uh, I did some stamping and just enough and some tickets and um, about airmail. Very interesting stuff in here to read. This, I had to put in here because I thought this was fun. If we read it, it says, um, in the blank spaces, supply words that seem to fit. So you have this little story um, that you're supposed to fill in. And then here was the title of the so-called story, The End of the Path. I just thought it'd be a fun little um, tag and something you can, it's kind of like prompting you to, you know, use your imagination. So I got, these are, that's fabric tape, fabric tape, I love the fabric tape. And let's see. Oh, that's just a random tag there. Here is the third signature. Got a vintage uh, postcard. And, of course, you got some cross... Oh, I haven't put that in yet. Um, that's going in somewhere. But uh, you've got painted a bag that just has some paint stuff on it that you can do whatever. And eventually I'll have an extra one of those. I just haven't put it in yet. So on this side you have some more writing paper, painted paper, just different types and feel and all that good stuff. Oops. So, oh, here's another word search. I think those are fun. This is uh, a a couple poems and some paper dolls with its uh, golden paper clip and some dingle charms. So there's that. And then some of these are left blank, so hopefully, you know, somebody can do something with it. But here is the um, sunrise and sunset. Just spots to, you know, play with. And then, let's see here, some more word search, and then I have, you got more of this paper, and then you have this little, which is actually a um, card, a blank card, and this comes off so you have some tags, so you can play with that. And on this side, I just thought this was fun, this was an old chipboard tag I've been saving and uh, you can do what you will with that and then you have this and this and on the back I put some ephemeral pieces in here some tags and a guest check and some hello names so there's that and there we go is that not fun I love this book I am really debating 
about keeping it, but I can't because I got so many, so many. But it just feels good. It's not a gator mouth. And the, the what's even keeping it this much open is that bulldog clip I have right there. So even that, you take that out and it'll be even flatter, you know. So it's not overstuffed as of yet. But yeah, there's three signatures in it. So that is the book trails on a high road to adventure. Just a fun, simple, um, poten a, a lot of potential, I think, to do what you want in it. You know, if you notice, there's random things like, you know, the space, you know, the space pictures and music and, you know, coloring pages, you know, just different things. So let me know what you think. Um, I had fun with this. I was going to leave it naked, but apparently I just don't understand what naked means. <laughs> I just can't do it. So give me your thoughts down below and I will, I think I might have this up on Etsy soon. It might go up on Instagram first and then, um, then Etsy and then, um, we'll see. All right. Like, subscribe, share, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.